bullying. Well, you know, um, like I said, when I was growing up, um, I had this 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 kid that he was the, the evil doer of the neighborhood. All the kids were used to be afraid of him. Um, and it was the jungle, you know, uh, in, in a way, uh, in a neighborhood, because every time when we used to go to school, you had to pass through that store, you know. And before to pass through that store, it was this guy right there waiting for you, you know. So you know you have to have money going up the school and have money coming down the school because if not, you you know you get a booty whipping. So um, obviously after I started practicing martial arts, my my self my my self esteem got a little bit stronger, and obviously um, my posture changed, the way I walked changed, the way I talked changed. So. When I confronted this person now, after a couple of months, and not, not something that I went and looked for it, you know, because I was still was afraid of this person, you know. Keep in mind that I was, uh, I guess, fear is injected, you know. Once, once you inject fear on an individual, you know, you have a 90% of the fight won. And this is what I always tell my students. So every time you do a punch, we want to inject fear, you know. And if you inject fear, as soon as you do the move, the student is gonna blink or whatnot. And if you have that done, 90% of the fighters won because of how the punch cannot even hurt, but the fear makes it 10 times hard. So I never looked for a fight for this gentleman, so for this kid. So the, the time came, and when I confront, he conf you know, he asked me for money. I said that I was not going to give him any. He pushed me. I did a spinning kick. I didn't hit him, but he saw the kick. He was totally surprised of the ability that I had, that I had acquired. It was out of necessity, not because I wanted it to, it was out of necessity. You know, my dad saw that I was getting beat all the time. Um, now, that's the change that it did for me when I practiced martial arts. You know, I, I felt that it gave me that sense of security. Now, not everybody has that type of character though. You know, because I have students, they come over and says, well, Sifu, you know, I have my student and he's being bullied at school and, and I want him to learn some self-defense. Well, the first thing that's not going to work uh, if you want to put your son to practice martial arts to learn to some defense because uh, it was not his idea. It was your idea as a parent. Second, the student needs to have that type of mentality for him. So for him to learn a physical activity, first he needs to be ready mentally. And like I said before, mentally and spiritually, the kid needs to be able to see, say, okay, this is what's going to be happening to you. What happens, you go to a martial arts school or a boxing club and they put the gloves on and show the punch the boxing kicks and then they put him to fight in a week or two. The kid is not ready mentally, phys mentally ready. He's mentally, physically ready, but mentally he's not. He's cool doing kicks and punches, but as soon as he gets hit, he doesn't like that. Now imagine getting hit by somebody that you're afraid of. So obviously you're going back into a shelf. So I think the way to approach this type of bullying for the kids that are being bullied is first, to find the proper program for your kid and build up the, the, the self-esteem part first, then the physical part second. Um, example, we have kids that may be a little bit overweight and they don't want to do martial arts. But we need to find a something way to modify, you know, that interest for the kids. In, in some schools they have parkour, they integrate parkour you know, into the martial arts. That's something fun to do. That's an introduction for the kids to start practicing martial arts. The type of training is not, like I said before, before you can just put a flyer, a kid doing a kick and a punch and we used to come to the school. But nowadays we're competing, we're competing with so many other sports so that we need to kind of make our students kind of look our way to say, hey, look, we're, soft, we're offering something fun. And at the same time, by the end of the day, you're going to be stronger, smarter, and nobody's going to bully you because you have that self-esteem. So when you get that student motivated in a positive way, then you're going to be able to, he's going to be able to see that he can accomplish things physically. Because before, he doesn't have the mentality for him to do it. You know, it's like when they say to you, uh, uh, I'm going to go on a diet, and people say, well, I'm not disciplined enough. That's because they're not mentally ready, they're not mentally tough. So one of the things I think that we need to teach for our students before they start practicing martial arts is the mental toughness.